Hey, Raptor family. Thank you for joining the Raptor sisters again. Today, you will see some necessary moves for our reptiles, and uh, we'll also be feeding our lizards some protein, so some fuzzies and pinkies, and also getting them some needed outside time in their playpen. Once again, thank you very much for joining we'll the Raptor sisters. I'll update on the scheme. Just because, oh my god, this thing is crazy. It's right here. It likes to bury itself, but it's not friendly at all. It scares me, to be honest. He is wild, I think. I think it's actually like wild caught. Look at it. So it's gonna take a while, as you can see, for it to be calmed and handleable. I am gonna work with it, like it, just a little touch, and it's like freaking out, dude. So there's that. I know you guys only seen a little video and then it was over with the thing because this is why. I really don't want to disturb him just to get a video. Hi, hey, bud. Sorry. So, give me a while to get him together. Go outside in the playpen. While I clean and rearrange her enclosure, she's got shed all over her enclosure. She just finished shedding. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby girl. Come on. Hi. Look at these colors. Yeah. This is usually in the playpen. I took it out last night when I was getting Draco's big butt out of here. And then just a couple of the big pieces of tile just for them to really start file their nails in. And then we just Zip it up. I feel like this was a really good investment when it comes to having just bearded dragons and lizards in general because they just get to get outside and the actual sun get some real exercise safely. I just really like having it for them. We're going to try to get the skink out here. Probably next week after it's settled in completely. All right, Dragon Star, let's go clean her. Isn't that a kick this out? I'm gonna get that stuff. Nice. Not gonna damage her. I'm gonna damage her. So, it's okay. So, okay, I'll put the knee. That's what I'm doing today. It's not clean every day because, you know, I don't have to clean every day. So, we'll completely clean her up. And, we'll put her stuff in there. Right here, some of those buckets that are just around with pots. Just so I can do this stuff. Yeah. Pick it up. It's perfect for stopping. It's gonna be a bit clean. So, it's okay. So, it's okay. 
Sugar shakes. We have high yellows. Sugar fresh water. Right, keep giving fresh water, baby. So oil change, we could be playing the, the, the drinking water. And the orange, I don't feel about the orange, just because I know that whatever's left over the next day, I'm going to throw it out. So I give them enough to drink, and then the rest they throw out the next day. So it's usually the last person I throw it out. Unless it's a day and I want them to soak, and they get in and soak, so. Show off her colors in the sun. Look at this baby. It's beautiful. I did switch it up some. Just because she's always on them green nuts. And I want her to be more underneath her lighting. Because the way that her lid is, I don't like this lid. We had to do special types of domes. So we put multiple UVB lights so we know that she's getting enough of it. Because if we do the long one all the way across, it'll melt it. So I put the nets to where I know she's definitely going to get the proper UVB. She's looking so pretty after her shed. Yeah, star who's sporting her whoa, 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 okay very excited today for her pinky alright go girl we just want to go outside because not only is he being put downstairs into the garage because the humidity just is way too high in my son's room. I find everything. Let me just show you where it's at. And that's like on the low end. Boma is at 70, and that's on the low end. They've been going up to like 90 and 100 humidity, and I've done everything I could in his room because he really wanted to keep his babes in his room, but he just can't. So, two pack. Bun. is going to go into his, the playpen and while we are switching him to the garage he is going to be upgraded from his 20 gallon because he got so big he came in with dragon star same size and as you can see he is just way bigger than her. He's a monster. Look at that monster. His tail's in shed. He is just huge. And again, in the light, look at his colors. The sun just makes him pop. Marion! Out and, and switched into a different type of animals enclosure because we do have an animal that can do it. And then into his new enclosure, which he has way more space. He's got a bigger hammock. I did give him some food. Mealworms, kale and tomato. I gave him a shallower dishwater. A new rock to climb that is his old hammock and his old trees. And he can fit in there. We'll see if he uses it like Boma does. And then underneath his is his old blankie that he used to use. And right now I'm just using paper towels. This isn't his permanent home. It is a way bigger enclosure, but I would like to get him into a wide 75 like breeder gallon. Or into something like this that Drake goes in because I'm sure he's going to be a big boy like that. So he will be transferred over. But for now, he is in here. I have it there. put his lights on. So you guys can see that he has his TA and his UVB and a basking light that he does not need right now because it's definitely hot enough. So there's one of his UVB lights. Um, and then I'm just So UVB Ooh. and a basking Ooh. light. Ooh. So that way he can get UVB no matter where he's at. Ooh. 
I'll get it plugged in. I was thinking about putting this log in there with him. Hold on, Mark. Stop. About this log in there with him, but for now, he seems like he's got enough stuff in there. I don't want to overcrowd it for him. If I can find a skinnier log, I'll put it in because he is a climber. He does like to climb, so I want to give him more climbing space as well. But we'll see how he does. I think Tupac will actually like it, to be honest. So I do have his hammocks a little higher just because this is a taller tank, so... Um, he's always on his hammocks, either that, and then hopefully he'll be on that one. That way he's within the 12 inches from his leg. So, we'll see how he likes it. He usually always eats a pinky. Yep. is checking out her new digs. Hey, little girl. She's upstairs in my son's room now. And we kept her same I mean, height, I did. but we kind of like buried it some and made it a tunnel. We got way less substrate in there because that's where her um, heating pad is. And we'll see if she likes it better in here. She really didn't like the big, big enclosure she was in. She never came out. So now that we put her in here, she's already coming out, already exploring, already thinking she's going to run away. <laughs> this also is a better lid. It's a locking lid, so I won't have to put the gallon of water on top. So we'll see how she does up here now. Alma's going outside as well because she's being moved down to... The reptile room as well because just as Tupac, she can't have high humidity. And we'll take Peter out of my son's room. So he's getting the snakes and we're getting the lizards down here. Now, Boma and Tupac are my son's personal pets. And he wants to keep Peter, but he is a rescue, so we are going to get rid of Peter. But. For the respiratory sake, they need to come downstairs for an hour till the humidity in our state the moves. goes down. We officially have uh, Tupac. Hello, buddy. He's enjoying his new enclosure. Boma. Hello, babe. Hello. She's in the same enclosure. She's just where one of the snakes was. So, I didn't move and clean her enclosure out. That's why she's got puppy pads in the bottom. Post has been moved into here as well. Peter's over here. Uh, underneath the beetle larvae. And Joe Swanson has been moved to a table that's next to our desk. So I have my desk back. And then the skink, we put it with this on the front. So that way he has time to settle in with the blackout. I have his lid off right now because he is eating. Well, obviously drinking as well. And he's right underneath Gecko. And then behind him is spare light fixtures, heating pads, etc. His lid. We are going to feed Pebbles some more protein today. Just because she'll be laying some more eggs very soon, within the next two to three weeks. And she really needs no. this. No, give her with a fuzzy, and now we'll give her just an extra little pinky. There you go. She takes it down like a champ. Look at these colors on this baby. Her and Draco's babies are going to be freaking gorgeous, man. Just gorgeous. And we can't forget our big boy Drake Drake, who's still shedding in another spot now.
actually pretty happy with all the little moves and changes because it just makes it a lot easier, especially to have all of the dragons in one room now. Instead of having to go upstairs into multiple rooms, those are geckos. Dragon, gecko. Dragon. 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 Gecko. Gecko. Sleeping gecko. Look at that little baby. Gecko. He's in his humidity hide. Gecko. Skink. Gecko. Gecko. Sleeping gecko. Crazy gecko. So yeah. I mean, we still have the snakes upstairs, um, but it's just making it a lot easier to feed, handle, and get everybody out into the playpen when all the dragons are in one room. Tupac has been, look at him waving. Hi. Hi. How are you enjoying your new enclosure, sir? Oh yeah? I think it's an awesome idea, too. Boma, being lazy as always, she just loves to flatten out on that rock during the day, and then at night she goes inside and sleeps. I just love all of our dragons. They're so cool. I don't have any more for you, fatty. She's looking like me. Do I, you got some for me? No. No more mice for you, okay? You've had plenty now. You will not get none until next month. Sorry. Thank you, Raptor family, for joining us on another day of adventures. Moving and switching around. And I am sure, I am positive that I will be rearranging once again very soon. I just know it. Because I'm going to find a better spot for him once he's settled in. Because like I said, we have this like that. So he doesn't see anybody. He can't see anybody on that side. He can't see anybody on this side. It's just to get him used to being here and settled in. Once he's settled in, we'll find him a better spot. Because I don't know if I like him right there. Even if it's just to move him over here. Or over in this area somewhere. Or rearrange somebody. I, I'm always moving them around to better places. I just want my animals to be happy. Oh, we can't forget Pete, Pete, Peter. Our rescue is, I'm trying to see into his log. There he is. There's our Pete, Pete. He got brought down as well. So, he always sleeps in this damn plant. Anyways, thank you very much, Repta family, for joining us on another crazy day with the Repta sisters and all of our reptiles and chaos. And like I always say, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining the Repta sisters and the chaos of our Repta family. Like, subscribe, and comment to show your support. As always, we appreciate you joining the Repta sisters.